I thought my daughters were cooking, my stepdaughter Kennedy and my daughter Unique. And when I asked them what were they cooking, because I was upset, you know, what are you guys cooking? You're burning up the place. And they was like, no, it's not us. The only thing I can remember is just seeing black smoke. And I'm like panicking. You know, I was trying not to panic because I didn't know what to do. You know, I didn't want to walk all the way into the smoke. So I was telling my daughter to like pretty much just like duck down, you know, just duck down and just try to get out of the apartment. When I went to the back door, um, smoke rushed in when I opened it to try to get us out the building. And so I closed it immediately and went to the front door and smoke rushed in there. It was really dark because all the lights and TV was off and it was smoke all over the place. And it was really hot. You can't breathe or nothing. My neighbor's daughter, she's in the hallway crying because her mother has passed out in the hallway. And she's like, somebody help my mom, my mom. That's all she was concerned about, her mom, and she was crying. I was knocking on the neighbor's doors and they helped us get her down and. At that moment, I forgot, honestly, I'm pregnant. You know, it was just, my instincts was, let me get in here and get Ebony out of this building. Heroes goes in a lot of different ways. And I do consider her a hero to me. She's a very wonderful woman. You don't find too many people that's willing to put their life in jeopardy, you know, to save another person's life. And she was pregnant. I mean, I have to look at it as, as this way. If, if it was me, I would have did the same thing. It takes a person with a big heart to do that. And I really thank her for having a big heart.